What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man will only take so much disrespect. And it's only a matter of time before he finally decides today's the day. Ah, gentlemen, Jay White sent me an interesting article about an influencer that got offline by her husband. However, while searching for that article, I actually came across this article. And I have to do this one. Why? Because... Every single day, there's a man who will put on the mask, even on Christmas. Now, this article was published on the 27th of December. Court documents reveal, quote unquote, argument led to an indie man fatally shooting his girlfriend slash children's mother on Christmas. Yes, ladies, the mask can be put on even on holidays. So what happened? The Grim Reaper got a nice soul for Christmas. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! An indie man was arrested on termination charges, reportedly shot and offlined his girlfriend after an argument early Christmas morning. Previous reports showed that 24-year-old Sir Brown Jr. was arrested for the offlining of 24-year-old Shania Shaw. On December 25th, around 5.15 a.m., Indianapolis Metro Police were called to shots fired at the 6600 block of East 52nd Place. When officers arrived, Shaw was found shot to deletion on the scene. Detectives began their investigation into what led up to the deadly incident. Court documents explained a live bullet, shell casings, and a purse and contents of a purse, which had been spilled on the ground, were found near Shaw's carcass. Police said there appeared to have been a struggle. Sir Brown Sr., the suspect's father, spoke with police and explained that he had evidence from video surveillance of the shooting. The father stated that his son and his son's girlfriend dropped off their two children at his home on Christmas Eve night before they went to Broad Ripple to drink. Around 4 a.m., the couple returned to his home. Upon arrival, Shaw and Brown Jr. became involved in an argument lasting nearly 45 minutes, according to Brown's father. The probable cause stated that at one point, the fight went from verbal to physical. And Brown Jr. took Shaw to the ground and was punching her in the face. Ladies, why do you think you can argue with a man, get physical with a man, and that man is supposed to just automatically back down. Oh, no, 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 no. Especially when there's alcohol or drugs involved. Yeah, that man is definitely going to lash out. Detectives said the injuries on Shaw's body lined up with the story. The father said when he came outside to break up the argument, 
the father got into a physical altercation with his son. Brown Jr. had a gun and quote unquote threatened to shoot himself. Afterwards, Brown Sr. said he went back inside and locked his door. The father said he heard a shot and watched his son try to enter the home. Brown Jr. reportedly then kicked and shot the door to try to get inside. Brown Sr. said he then heard his son fire another shot before leaving in, quote unquote, an unknown direction. IMPD detectives were able to get access to the surveillance footage to piece together what led up to the offlining. The video showed Brown Jr. and Shaw arguing near a Chevy Trailblazer outside the home. Brown Jr. was then seen walking away from the SUV while Shaw could be heard screaming. Well, looks like he actually tried to walk away. However, we know what happens when you try to walk away from a woman that is determined to keep a fight going. Brown Jr. was seen on his phone and calmly walked back to the home across the street while Shaw continued to quote unquote scream for help. Detectives said that Brown Jr. was seen walking back across the street cocking his handgun, firing one more shot, offlining Shaw, and then walking away. While officers spoke with the father, Brown Jr. called his mother. During the call, IMPD said he admitted to offlining Shaw. Brown Jr. stated that he was going to quote unquote, self-terminate. Detectives reasoned with Brown Jr. and pleaded to turn himself in. They agreed Brown Jr. could see his mother and children if he quote unquote, turned himself in peacefully. Brown Jr. was arrested around 2.30 p.m. after his mother brought him to the city county building. No guns were recovered when he turned himself in. Brown Jr. requested a lawyer and was preliminarily charged with termination. No initial hearing has been scheduled. Well, well, well. I wonder what the argument could have been about. 45 minutes of arguing in the morning. Yeah, something definitely set this man off. However, will he talk? Maybe. Will he give the reason why? Who knows? But what more can I say, gentlemen? Like I said, even on holidays, men are capable of putting on the mask. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down outside of his father's home. So I got to count this as public. Got to give it a five. Method of execution. Of course, the problem solving pistol. Got to give that a five. Psychological impact. I'm going to give this a 30 because Christmas for the Brown family will never, ever, ever be the same ever again. And for the brutality factor, I'm going to give this a 15 because he did kind of lay hands on her during the fight. However, it was the problem solving pistol that actually done her in. So I'm going to give this a 15. So Sir Blaster Brown Jr. gets a score of 55. Gentlemen, like I said, HMT is a never ending well. <laughs>
It's never going to end. As long as female fuckery continues to be pretty much celebrated in this society, there's always going to be a man that's going to be pushed beyond his line and decide, you know what? This woman has become the bane of my life. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take matters into my own damn hands. And of course, what's going to be the ultimate outcome? At bare minimum, he's going to put himself into the cage, but he's going to make sure to put you in a box, ladies. Hey, it is what it is. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And for you women out there who think that every day you can exercise female fuckery and nothing's going to happen, oh, you better understand this and understand it clearly. The power you think you have is going out. Feminism is going out right along with it because even on Christmas, guess what? A man can be driven too far and put the mask on. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Welcome. Murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill. Yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.